Have you ever wondered how rock is transformed into the cement that supports our cities and roads? Cement is the second most widely used raw material on our planet, surpassed only by water. This material, with its grayish hue and powdery form, is the fundamental base for concrete production and plays a decisive role in the construction of infrastructures. It is used in the building of houses, in the assembly of bricks, in paving streets, in constructing dams, and in lining reservoirs. Its importance lies in the fact that it acts as the cohesive element that binds and strengthens structures as varied as skyscrapers and bridges. Behind this essential input hides a colossal story, full of the use of enormous kilns, high-powered machinery, and the controlled application of explosives to break apart large rock masses. In Mexico, one of the most remarkable cement facilities worldwide is located a plant that, despite appearing as a veritable industrial city, is in fact a single, extensive factory. At this facility, more than 3 million tons of cement are produced annually, contrasting with the impressive global figure of 94 million tons produced by the company. The entire production process begins in a limestone quarry, where the rock exposed at the surface has a relatively high content of silica, iron, and aluminum oxide. However, deeper down, the ore proves to be of higher purity. This quarry is situated at an altitude of 2,500 meters above sea level and covers approximately 800 hectares. To extract the limestone at the surface, the use of explosives is indispensable. Workers, following strict safety protocols, drill into the rock and place explosive charges in the holes. During detonation, it is crucial that personnel maintain a minimum distance of 50 meters to avoid any mishaps. The resulting concentrated explosion shatters the mountainside, releasing up to 200,000 tons of ore in a single blast. After the blasting, heavy machinery takes over. Excavators and mechanical shovels collect the debris and load them onto large capacity trucks, known as dump trucks, which can carry up to 90 tons per trip. One of the shovels, equipped with a 12 cubic meter bucket, is capable of scooping up approximately 18 tons of rock in each operation. Once loaded, the trucks transport the ore to the adjacent cement plant, where the transformation of limestone into cement begins. The first challenge at the plant is the excessive size of the extracted rocks, which necessitates reducing their size. The trucks dump the limestone into a colossal crusher, where a mechanism with the power of 67 tons is capable of crushing up to 1,000 tons per hour. This process reduces the size of the fragments, bringing them to dimensions similar to those of a tennis ball. Once crushed, the rocks are transported via conveyor belts to the various areas of the factory. The coordination of all activities in the plant is carried out from a central control room, which oversees the entry and mixing of the diverse components necessary for cement production. The basic formula to obtain this material consists of limestone, clay, and even iron. Ingredients that are dosed through six large hoppers and incorporated into the production system. Given that these components have a high density, it is imperative to subject them to a grinding process in a large mill. At the base of the mill are three crushes of enormous capacity, responsible for pulverizing the materials until a very fine powder is obtained. One of these crushes, with a power equivalent to 4,500 horsepower, is capable of grinding up to 350 tons of material per hour. Once the powder is obtained, it is crucial to eliminate any residual moisture and the volatile gases generated during crushing. This process requires the application of high temperatures, for which a gigantic rotary kiln is used, regarded as one of the most imposing in the world. Before entering the kiln, the powder is at an approximate temperature of 80 degrees Celsius, but in just 40 seconds, when exposed to the intense heat, its temperature is multiplied by 10. Inside the rotary kiln, a large-scale burner generates a massive amount of heat, raising the temperature of the material until it reaches 1,400 degrees Celsius, even surpassing that of erupting lava. During this process, the limestone dries out and decomposes, producing calcium oxide and releasing carbon dioxide in a process known as calcination. 
the minerals undergo solid-state reactions that culminate in the formation of small clumps called clinker. The clinker, an intermediate raw material, must then be converted into the fine powder we know as cement. Upon leaving the kiln, it undergoes a rapid cooling process using large fans, which manage to lower its temperature to 60 degrees Celsius. This swift cooling is crucial to guarantee the quality of the final product. The final phase of the process consists of the definitive grinding, in which gypsum is added to the clinker. The amount of gypsum incorporated varies depending on the type of cement intended, as this component delays setting, allowing the cement to remain workable for approximately two hours before hardening. Subsequently, the modified clinker is sent to a second large-scale mill. Inside this mill, thousands of metal balls bounce around while the drum rotates, pulverizing the material until an ultra-fine powder texture is achieved. Once the grinding process is completed, the cement is aspirated through a duct and directed towards the packaging area. At this stage, various machines are responsible for dosing the cement into bags, each filling batches of up to 120 tons. Conveyor belts deliver the bags to an automatic stacker, which organizes the material into neat piles. Finally, a team of forklifts loads the bags onto distribution trucks. Part of the cement is sent across the national territory, while other batches are dispatched via rail transport to international markets. This meticulous process, integrating everything from quarry extraction to final packaging, showcases the complexity and precision required in the manufacture of a material so essential for the development of modern infrastructures. Throughout the process, each stage has been optimized using advanced technologies and rigorous quality controls, ensuring that the plant remains one of the most important worldwide in terms of production. The integration of high-powered machinery, automated systems, and strict safety protocols not only guarantees the efficiency of the process, but also the safety of the workers and the environmental sustainability of the operation. The history of cement is Ultimately, the story of transforming natural raw materials into a vital component for society, an evolution that has driven the progress and modernization of cities and regions. The production plant, located in a challenging geographical setting, stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the capacity to adapt, converting local resources into industrially valuable products. Each explosion in the quarry, each load transported, and each phase of the production process come together in an industrial choreography that results in cement, a material irreplaceable in building the future. The continuous innovation in production processes, along with the commitment to quality and the environment, positions this factory as a leader in the sector. The commitment to state-of-the-art technologies and the implementation of sustainable strategies are fundamental pillars that ensure the competitiveness and relevance of the cement industry in an ever-evolving global market. This journey, from raw rock to final product, masterfully illustrates the balance between tradition and innovation, allowing cement to remain the undisputed protagonist in constructing the infrastructure that supports our society's progress. In conclusion, the cement manufacturing process is a complex and fascinating chain in which each link plays a crucial role in achieving a high-quality final product. The combination of ancient techniques and modern technologies highlights the tremendous effort and precision required to transform simple minerals into the foundation of our cities, demonstrating that at each stage, the commitment to excellence and safety is unwavering.